Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I cannot believe it is already Friday. Can you believe it's already Friday? Oh my goodness. Well, this week has flown by, but we've done some really cool animals so far and today is no exception. We have a really, really fun one coming up. So let me give you a few hints to see if you can figure out which animal we're drawing today. This animal has been around for a hundred million years. They live in every ocean in the world and some of these love to eat jellyfish. Do you know which animal we're drawing today? That's right, we're drawing a sea turtle. There are seven different species of sea turtles, so I'm gonna draw my favorite kind of sea turtle, the green sea turtle. They look super cool and they're gonna be a lot of fun to draw. So let's make sure we have all of our tools and everything ready to get drawing. As always, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. You're gonna need a pencil for what? That's right, we're gonna do some sketching. And then it always happens, every time we sketch, we make mistakes, right? So we're gonna need an eraser. Even if you don't make any mistakes, we're gonna to wanna to erase the sketch underneath because we're gonna go over it with an outline of a dark marker or a pen. And then at the very, very end, we're gonna do some coloring, which is by far my favorite part. And uh, it's a green sea turtle, so I'm gonna use a lot of my greens here, which I'm excited about. All right, let's start drawing our sea turtle. Now you can notice I have my sketch pad on its side here because I wanna have my sea turtle swimming across the page here with its big giant flippers. They look like big wings. They're really cool, so we'll do that. Um, but first we need to start maybe with the shell. I feel like that's the easiest thing to work on right now and it will give us kind of a sense of the scale or the size. So let's start with like a little shell. Now they have really sleek shells, you know what that I mean? Like sleek, so more aerodynamic. So when they go through the water, they can go really fast, like really fast, like up to 22 miles per hour. It's pretty fast. So let's do that shell. Okay, so we're gonna start with the back being a little bit lower and it'll get a little bit higher as it moves forward. And then we'll kind of drop down like that. There we go. Now, is it okay if this is not perfect right away? That's totally fine. <laughs> this is not gonna be perfect right away. We're gonna make some mistakes and that's why we're using a pencil. And then from there, let's do this little shape. It's like a stretched out green uh, turtle shell from Mario. <laughs> if you ever played like Mario Kart or anything like that or just Mario, I guess. They have those green shells that shoot around, knock into people. We're gonna draw something that looks kinda like that. Just stretched out and all sporty like. All right, ooh, I like the look of that. It looks like the looks like the gas tank on a sweet motorcycle. Looks kind of cool. I like that. Makes it look fast because they are fast because they glide through the water. Now, other turtles on land, what do they look like? Their shells kind of go more like this, <laughs> and they're not working for speed. Obviously, we don't really think of turtles as fast, but sea turtles can get real fast. All right. So let's go from here and maybe draw the head. I think we should draw the head so we know how far over we need to go. I left a lot of room down here because I'm gonna do the big fins in the front. All right, so let's work on this head here. We're gonna go up from this little point. We're gonna kinda of go up and over like that. Ooh. See that shape? And then we're gonna kinda of go down like that. I might just kinda of stunted off just a little bit, a little bit flattened. And they kind of have, it looks like a little beak, almost looks like a little beak on the front. And so we're gonna kind of go like this. Like that, oh, see? Oh, it's starting to look like uh, Crush from Finding Nemo. I love that character. Actually, I'm gonna name my sea turtle right here. I'm naming it now. Usually I name it a lot later, but I'm gonna name it now. I'm gonna name it Crush. I think that'll be a perfect name. There we go. Okay, now let's do the big eyeball. We wanna do that big, friendly eyeball. Right here, there we go. Draw a circle right about here. Maybe a little closer, maybe a little closer. There we go. There we are. And then I'm gonna draw a big pupil in the middle, maybe looking back towards us. To make them look extra nice. It's the big black part in the middle, it's called your pupil. Maybe we can even have that little smile go back further. But let's do a little nostril right here. Right up on the top. So they do breathe air, oxygen, but they have to get that out of the water. They don't do it in the water because they don't have gills. But guess what? 
they can stay underwater for up to five hours. Five hours, that's a long time. Oh, and there's this little line right here. It might be kind of subtle. It looks, that's the part that looks like a beak on these green sea turtles. I might make it a little bit bigger here. But yeah, you'll notice that they have like this little shape right there. And I imagine that actually is pretty tough like a beak because they can eat crabs and snails and all sorts of other things under the water that do require some pretty, sm pretty strong chompers. Okay, so now that I'm looking back at this, I'm noticing something. I think the neck might be a little too long. I don't know if I want the neck that long, but can I fix it? Yes, I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this up just a little bit higher, up to here. See, not a big deal. I can erase some of this stuff in there and this. And then now all I have to do is just take this and go down like that. And if I want to, I can make that even a little bit higher so that we can fill up a little bit more of our page and be a little bit more to, to color in. And then I'll erase some of this extra stuff on there. Normally I would like to cut this stuff out for you. We usually just edit it so you don't have to see me making a bunch of changes. But I think it's important too to understand that it's okay. It's totally okay to make some of these mistakes in here and to keep playing with it. You don't get it perfect every time. And uh, that's part of the process, us making mistakes. So I wanna make sure you see that I don't get it perfect every time either. <laughs> and that's just fine. Alrighty, so we got our neck and head. I think that's looking a little bit better, the proportions. They are really big. Some can be really small, some are about two feet, but some of these can get up, I think it's the leatherback turtle. They can get up to about seven to eight feet long. That is huge, 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 huge. So these are, these are pretty big. Alrighty, let's start, I'll stop talking and I'll get working on these more <laughs> so we can get this done. Let me get the back side here. We're gonna do the little, the little feet in the back. They're also like little flippers. We'll start maybe right about here. Do a little line and then we'll bring it back at a little bit of an angle and then we'll go in. We'll kind of round it off right there. There you go. And you might want to round it off. They even have like little tiny little toes on there that you can put on there if you want little teeny tiny claws. That's fine if you want to add those, but I'm not going to. I like it just looking just like that. And then I'm going to add the fins in the front. Now these are huge. They look like big wings like I was saying. So let me show you what that looks like. Make this neck just a little bit thicker. They're pretty big animals. They're not super thin. All right, so let's draw that big flipper in the front. It kind of looks like a whale, a whale flipper actually, like a big blue whale. It looks very similar to that. Even with the little bumps and stuff that it has on the, on the flipper itself, and I'll show you where. All right, do we like that? Maybe a little bit bigger? Go bigger. There we go, there we go. And so it's gonna come back around Almost like, a, uh, like an airplane wing, or I guess just like a flipper. <laughs> I should just stick with the blue whale flipper reference. It does look like that because on this side, they're actually gonna have little lumps like this. It's gonna be like a little bumpy right here. And I believe that helps it <clears throat> glide through the water better. I think even those giant windmills, you know, that capture all the wind so that they can make electricity, those have little bumps on them that they copied from whales, actually the, the ridges on the whales fins. So maybe that's the same ridges that they have too. When we copy nature, it's actually called biomimicry. Interesting fact, we're copying biology and using it for technology or design in our world. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we got that right there, we got the big fin. Now let's maybe show the other one in the background. So we'll kind of do a little bit off like this kind of go straight over here. Oh, that's going out a little bit too far. There we go. <laughs> they only got away from me a little bit. And then I'm gonna take it back right here and I'll draw it lightly like that. And then I'll add my little bumps. So I didn't do the bumps right away because sometimes it's hard to figure out the exact shape or direction that they're gonna go. So I'll make sure that I do like kind of an underline first to kind of show where it's gonna go. That makes it easier when you're doing stuff like that, unless you're just drawing a straight line. All righty, crush, you're crushing it, man. You're looking, you're looking awesome. Okay, let's add a little tail on the end of here. <laughs> Cute little tail. And what else, what else should we add? Oh, we gotta add the bottom of the shell. 
Let's do that. Maybe let's just start right here. I'm going to bring it down like this. Doot, 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 doot. I'm going to bring it right down to here. There we are. And then we'll bring this one kind of up a little higher. And maybe we'll draw a little line right here so we can see the bottom where the shell ends. Now with turtles on land, they use their shell as kind of a defense mechanism where they can kind of like pop their little arms and legs and head inside their shell to keep themselves protected. But sea turtles can't do that. Sea turtles can't do that. They just rely on swimming really fast to get away. <laughs> and I mean, I guess this does protect them if someone's gonna like bite them, like a shark or something. But uh, they rely more on the fact that they can just swim really fast. Okay, now just a few little detail things. I'm just gonna do a couple lines here maybe for the neck to make that uh, look like it's scrunched a little. And then we're gonna draw a line right here. Just kind of follow the shell outline and bring it up like that. And then what we're gonna do is draw some lines. So it's like little segments. And then we're gonna draw, almost looks like a, it almost looks like a soccer ball pattern on their shell. Let me show you what it looks like. So you usually get one about right here. We'll space them out a little bit. Like this, like this, and like this. Just draw a few lines. Then from those lines, you are just going to go up and down. Give them a little piece, like little rooftops. Like that. And then maybe one more over here. There we go. And then what we'll do from there is all you have to do is draw lines. Draw lines going up. And you finished your turtle shell. That's a pretty easy way to make that, uh, that pattern, isn't it? And at the end, you can add any of the details or spots that you want to. I'm just gonna do mine with my markers. So whatever you're gonna use to color with, maybe you can do it at that point. Sometimes if I do too much with my marker, it gets a little messy. Okay, let's go start with the top of the shell. Can't really see where I'm going here with this. There we go. And down. Nice. This might be the last time I use this specific marker. It's getting a little squished. Oh! And I can't hold on to it. <laughs> there we go. See, the front gets a little smushed. It's not much of a fine tip anymore. So it makes it harder to do little details. So we'll see how that does. There we go. Now I said the largest turtle in the, or the sea turtles is called a leatherback. And they're called leatherbacks because the top of their shells actually feel and kind of look leathery. If you ever see one, I have to look one up. Have your parents help you look one up. Leatherback turtles. They, uh, they more have like ridges. They don't look like they have a traditional turtle pattern on their shell. It looks very interesting. But they are huge. I think the largest one ever found was eight and a half feet long. Can you imagine an eight and a half foot long sea turtle? I surely can't. When I was in uh, Hawaii years ago, I went snorkeling and we followed, we went to this little spot where they had lots and lots of sea turtles. So we got to see some sea, sea and swim with some sea turtles. It was a really cool experience. Okay, I gotta focus while I draw my eyeball here. There we are. Wow, I'm pretty proud of my circle. <laughs> it's hard to draw circles. Don't feel bad if you, if you have a hard time drawing circles. I think that's a, it's a very normal thing to, to struggle with. Well, today I only have to draw one of those. I don't have to draw two eyes, which makes my life a little easier. I'm happy about that. Okay, so we got the little beak on there. Little nostril. <laughs> the way I have his mouth, it looks kind of like a Muppet, but that's okay. <laughs> I can move that down, but it's, it looks good. It still looks good. Just do a couple lines there for their neck. I'm gonna go in the back and do this one. Now it makes me sad to think a lot of these sea turtles are become endangered because of pollution. Be really careful what we do with our garbage. As humans, sometimes we don't think about what we do 
and how it can affect not just ourselves, but how it can affect animals and our environment, all those things. We need to be very careful to make sure that we don't pollute this planet. That means throwing our garbage just anywhere we want. We don't need to, we can't do that because especially for sea turtles who a lot of them like to eat jellyfish and plastic bags that are underwater like grocery bags and things and all those things floating kind of look like jellyfish to them. So then they go and try to eat them and they can suffocate or they can choke on them. And so there's lots of reasons why we need to make sure that we don't pollute our oceans so if you see garbage on the ocean or just even in your own neighborhood, pick it up and throw it away. Pick it up and throw it away. We don't want any of that garbage on there for all the animals out there to, to, to get stuck in or choke on. Because they didn't choose to have all that garbage out there. All right, let's work on our shell pattern. Whoop, there we go. Isn't it crazy to think that these sea turtles have been around for hundreds of millions of years? That is crazy. I mean, they were around during dinosaur times. We drew a crocodile, right? Did we draw a crocodile yet? I think we did. I think we drew a crocodile. Yeah, we did. And, uh, oh no, an alligator. We drew an alligator. That was it. And we found out that those are super old too. Those have been around since dinosaur times as well. They're pretty resilient. Okay, well, I think I am done with my outlines. Now, I am so excited to get my coloring done, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase all of the under sketch here, and then I'm gonna jump right into coloring. So hopefully you're enjoying what you've done so far, and if you need to make any changes, do that now, but uh, have fun coloring, we'll catch up right after. Got all my little spots in there and Crush is finished. Oh man, that was so much fun coloring in. Did you guys have a fun time coloring yours in? Awesome, well I'd love to see what you guys made. I always love seeing your work. In fact, at the end of this video, because it is Friday, I'm gonna showcase some of your work that you guys have submitted to me. So thank you guys so much for doing that. I love seeing it, like I said, I love seeing everything you create. Wait until the very end of this uh, episode, at the very, very end, um, I'll let you know and I'll show a little showcase of your artwork. So keep an eye out and see if yours is in there. Well, I'm really proud of how my sea turtle turned out. And because I'm proud of what I made, what do I need to do? That's right, I need to sign my work. I'm gonna put my name down here so everybody knows and I'll call this project finished. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We do this every single week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So three times a week, subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps me do what I'm doing and I'm so excited to be able to make these videos with you. You guys are awesome. And remember, before I leave you, be brave, be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Wait, 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 don't go yet. Remember, I have some of your artwork that I wanna show you guys. So stick around, watch to see if your stuff's in here and just admire the amazing talent that you all have. So thank you and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.